Nagoya, the largest city in central Japan, has a wide blend of traditional and modern aspects, and this can be most visible through their food culture. So today, we'll be exploring the top 5 foods you must have when you are visiting Nagoya. Our quest for the 5 best Nagoya dishes starts us off at Osu Shopping District. Built around the famous Osu Temple, the area has a vast array of cute shops, restaurants, and food stands. Here is where we find our number 5 spot on our list, dango, or rice cakes on a stick. Shinsuzume is perhaps the most famous food stand in the entire shopping district, only serving two things on the menu, sweet soy sauce flavored dango or dango with sweet soybean flakes. Priced at only 100 yen per stick, it's the perfect snack to munch on while shopping. We return to the hustle and bustle of central Nagoya to go to our second location. Crepes de Anne is an adorable crepe cafe where you can sit and relax while playing some of your favorite board games. It is here where my number 4 pick is, this adorable alpaca crepe. Part of a series of animal crepes, this one is filled with whipped cream, chocolate, and strawberries inside. And if you're not a big crepe fan, no worries. Here's a hedgehog pudding filled with chocolate and mango cream. The only problem with these is, they're just too cute to eat. After getting some snacks and dessert, let's go get some hearty meals. In the middle of a large business district lies the safe haven for all businessmen in the area. A restaurant that in reality is actually four popular restaurants mashed into one, with each corner serving a different specialty cuisine only found here in Nagoya. is a huge part of Nagoya cuisine, and here is one of the best uses for it. This is udon cooked in a miso broth topped with eggs, meatballs, vegetables, and other goodies. You may notice that the udon noodles are flatter than normal. Nagoya uses udon noodles called kishimen, and the flatness helps in mixing well with the broth. A great meal to re-energize and continue your workday. While we're talking about miso in Nagoya, let's jump to our number two cuisine. Miso katsu is probably the most famous Nagoya dish, and it's deep fried juicy pork smothered in a miso based savory sauce. The restaurant I'm at, called Yabeton, has the claim to fame as the originator of the dish and still continues to be the leading restaurant when it comes to miso katsu. For our last meal, we find ourselves in Noritake Park, a tranquil and scenic area. There's a mall here, and within it is where we find the final dish, Kitsumabushi. Normally, this dish uses eels, but the one I had used Wagyu beef and grilled chicken. With Wagyu beef and chicken on rice, Kitsumabushi is a dish you can have fun with, as it comes with wasabi, green onions, seaweed, and fish broth so that you can customize the flavors to your liking. It's recommended that you enjoy the dish in three stages. First, you enjoy the flavors of the meat and rice just as is. Then, you can add the wasabi and green onions to give it a spicy kick. Then close it out with a warm broth to wash the greasiness away. You get an infinite combination of flavors for the price of one. This puts a wrap on my video, hope the guide was helpful in finding the best cuisines of Nagoya. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. We're so close to 200 subscribers, and your contribution is what will get us there. I also have an Instagram, so check the link in the description for more info. As always, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.